record statements that highlight individuals in their congressional districts, the communities, and uh, the, really that have an impact on the nation. And, and tonight I have the honor of reading such a uh, statement to the congressional record uh, about this organized rally. Although it has undergone at least five name changes in the last century, starting out as the Winchester Board of Trade, and since 2006 as the top of Virginia Regional Chamber, it has always remained true to its stated purpose of promoting the general welfare and prosperity of the Northern Shenandoah Valley. During the past century, the Chamber has improved the quality of life of the people of Winchester, Frederick County, and Clark County in many important ways. In the late 1930s, it advocated for the construction of the Winchester Municipal Airport and for the completion of Route 50 from Winchester to the Shenandoah River. During the 1950s, it was deeply involved in the establishment of Shenandoah University in Winchester. And in 1993, the Chamber advocated for the construction of Route 37 around Winchester and even initiated a grassroots movement in 2004 to gain support for completing the road. In addition, the encouragement and support of its members has always been a priority of the Top of Virginia Regional Chamber. And among the services and programs offered to its 835 current corporate members are quarterly educational seminars through Lord Fairfax Community College's Small Business Development Center, frequent business and breakfast and business after hours opportunities, various educational lunches and the activities of the Young Professionals Group. Okay. Recently, several innovative chamber initiatives have added significantly to the strengthening the social fabric of the Northern Shenandoah Valley. The Community Leadership Program is a rigorous nine-month program that develops leaders by teaching important leadership skills and an understanding of complex community problems and their potential solutions. The Valley Business Women Program helps women achieve their own personal and professional transformation. The Chamber's Workforce Development Committee has partnered with local businesses and public schools to help develop the region's workforce of the future. And since 2010, with the creation of its Public Policy Committee, the Chamber has become an important venue for discussions about public policy matters, including education, transportation, workforce development, regional economic development, healthcare, and legislation at the local, state, and federal levels. Its yearly breakfast meetings with state legislators prior to and after each General Assembly session, as well as periodic reports from the Member of Congress representing the Northern Valley, have been excellent opportunities for an exchange of ideas. Mr. Speaker, I don't know of a single organization in the Northern Shenandoah Valley that has done more to unify the community than does the Top of Virginia Regional Chamber by highlighting extraordinary work that is being done by Valley residents. Each year, the Greater Good Awards Dinner recognizes recognize some of these amazingly generous individuals. And the Valor Awards Center allows the community to recognize and thank our Valley heroes for their special acts of valor and selflessness. Because the Commonwealth of Virginia has a general election each November, the Chamber's Hobnob event is often the only opportunity for Chamber members and the public to hear directly from a wide variety of candidates running for office. In conclusion, Mr. Speaker, I ask you and our colleagues to join me in congratulating the Top of Virginia Regional Chamber for 100 years of successfully promoting the general welfare and pro prosperity of the people of the Northern Shenandoah Valley, and to express gratitude to President and CEO Richard Kennedy the Chamber's Board of Directors, 
and its great staff, as well as all those chamber CEOs, board members, and staff who preceded them for their hard work in serving the chamber's membership and in being such a powerful source of unity and enlightenment for the larger Valley community. I'd like to present this to Richard.